God bless you. God bless you. Thank you so much for tuning in to the Changing Heart International Broadcast. I'm Hi, I'm Bishop Jerome L. Williams, the pastor and the bishop of the New Testament Church located right here in the awesome city of P-Town, Portsmouth, Virginia. We thank you so much for being a part of this ministry on today. We pray that this word that's about to explode into your spirit realm would be a blessing to you. We had a phenomenal week on last week. It was a phenomenal Sunday and God truly met us here. I dealt with the favor of God that's upon our lives. And I came out of Deuteronomy, um, the ninth chapter and the first verse. It says, Hear, O Israel, thou art to pass over Jordan this day. Not tomorrow, but he says, pass over Jordan this day and to go and possess the nations greater and mightier than thyself. He says, I'm going to allow you to get something bigger and better than yourself. You're going to possess nations that are bigger and greater than yourself, but you're not going to do it of your own. God says, I'm going to do it by my power, by my sword. So all you're going to have to do is just walk into what God said to do. Come on, I'm excited. Let's go into this word and I'll be back and give you one or two announcements. We're excited today. Today is your day of favor. It belongs to my people and I'm going to give it to you. Why do I get it? Did I, did I pay for it? Uh, do I own it? It's called favor. In other words, some things God's going to do for you, you can't do nothing to get it. If they had three amens. Amen. There's some things you know you don't even deserve God's time. But he still opened doors for you. He still make ways for you. He still tells you I am your own. He still tells you I walk through the garden with you. He still tells you I love you in spite of your mess. That was only for 45 of us that got some mess. I still love you and because I love you, I'm giving you my favor. Now favor is not something you can pay for. Pay, favor is something God got to give you. I'm just glad I'm on the Lord's side. Have I got a witness in here? Anybody can decree and declare, are you glad you're on the Lord's side? I'd rather be on God's side any day of the week than be on the enemy's side. Just because it look good over there don't mean it's all that good. Okay, I don't want to come down your road. Y'all going to push me in a minute. I know he's fine, but he ain't all that fine. He trifling. He won't go to work. I know she got a pretty face, small in the waist, and a big behind, but she crazy. Look at your neighbor and say, I know some of them. So if they heathens, and God said, they are in the land, walk with me now, they are in the land that belongs to you. That means you got to be in the position prayerfully as the year of advancement to be able to get what God got for you. I told y'all this ain't for everybody, just for the 45 that can get it. He says, he says, he says, with my hand, he says, I do if afflict the people. Watch this. God is getting ready to release some stuff in the atmosphere that can't nobody make happen for you. And the only way you're going to get it is going to have to come through him. And I told you last week, your praise mess up God. Because every time you stop praising him, you get his attention. I ain't talking about stiff neck folks. Stiff neck folks don't praise God until they go to a football game. But praise the praise God. I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. Some of us, when we know that we ain't got an opportunity to come into the Lord's house, we come in with a praise. We come in with a shout. We come in telling God, thank you. Have I got a witness to anybody here really grateful? Maybe just 40 of y'all, maybe we'd have gone down to 30 of y'all, grateful. Look, look at the text, look at the text. Look at the text. How doest thou drive out the heathen with thy hand? Thou planted them. How doest thou afflict the people and you cast them out? Watch this, come here class. You ain't got to fight all your battles. God got this thing. And because things
things don't look good don't mean ain't going well don't mean things are falling apart. God is still in control. God, I wish I had a witness in here. And if you know God is still in control, it doesn't matter what you look at. It all it matters that I, at the end of the day, God's going to work this thing out somehow. Have I got a witness in here? If there anybody can holler, he's doing it right now. Listen, Psalms 44 and 3. Come on, in, in unison, we're going to declare Psalm 44 and 3. One, two, three. Stop. You ain't getting this on your own power. What God's going to do, the devil can't stop. Some of y'all should have been shouting right there because you already seen what the enemy's been trying to do to you. And I just came to tell you what he's been trying to do. He can't do it no more because God's going to deliver you. God's going to open a door for you. God's going to make a way for you. God's going to, uh, oh, give God some pride. I wish I had a witness in here. See, I get so excited because when you can see the hand of the enemy, and then you see God step in. That calls for a praise. I will bless the Lord at all times. And his praises shall continually be in my mouth. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. And let us exalt his name together. I would have fainted it but God the all wise God the all merciful God the all knowing God stepped in hey! please take a seat let's finish this up not by their own sword come on let's read in unison neither neither did Let's do it again. Neither did. Can we stop? Remember where we stopped. Neither did their own might save them. Maybe I'm the only one that had my back against the wall, not knowing how things going to turn out. And somehow, that was for me. Somehow, it didn't turn around overnight, but I could see things started to get a little bit better. Look at the neighbor said, when God is in it, he's going to make it work. That's why the enemy want to kill your praise. But I wish I had a witness in here that would decree and declare today, I will bless the Lord no matter what the devil throws my way. The Lord is worthy. Settle yourself. Hold up. Look at the text. Neither did their own arms save them. Come on, let, let's read. By thy hand. The dim is you. I got I gotta go home. I'm gonna leave y'all alone. Yeah. Y'all tired of me already. The favor is you. Look at your neighbor and say, the Bible said God has favor with you. Watch this, you miss your shout cue. If God done favor with you, that means everywhere your feet, big old feet go, you blessed in the city, you blessed in the field. I am favor. Look at your neighbor and push on them right quick and say, I'm favored, baby. I'm favored. Matter of fact, not only am I favored, I'm a blessing coming and I'm a blessing going. I dare you to go to two people and tell them I'm a blessing. I'm a blessing. I'm a blessing. I'm a blessing. Hey! I am. Oh, God. Hold on. I got. I gotta move on. Thou art my king, O oh God. O oh God, you commandeth 
deliverance for Jacob. And if you commanded deliverance for Jacob, Abraham, Isaac, and I'm the seed, that means you have commanded the blessings to overtake. I wish I had a church in here. I would have had a church in here. We'll understand God said, I'm getting ready to cause your blessing not only to overtake you, but run you down until you get what God got for you. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, I got so much favor that blessings are overtaking me right now. Right now. Wait a minute, settle yourself. Come on, y'all sit down for me. I'm almost done. Y'all ain't got nowhere to go today. We've been gone all week. Let's ride to 2 o'clock today. Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy 9 and 1. Deuteronomy 9 and 1. Don't, don't, you, don't you let nobody think, make you feel like you ain't blessed and favored. I wish I had some old thugs in here. You know, thugs always gotta walk. They gotta walk like, who you think you talking to? So I, I wish I'd get some believers that had a thug walk. I wish you would. I, I ain't got no, oh, see y'all, y'all been saved all your life. Ain't no thugs in here. Can, can I just search the house? Do I got, thank you, one thug. I know he a thug. He, he, I ain't gonna tell what he done, but he's a thug. Is there any more thugs in here? Any more thugs in here? Think up, stand up. Thug. All my thugs stand up. I said, I know y'all delivered now. I know y'all saved now, but there was a day. Man, well, you ain't no thug. He is not a thug. He's six years old. Okay, we got, let's see, y'all stand back up, stand back up, stand back up. Okay, okay, let me help y'all. If you ever, if you ever been a, if you ever been a drug dealer, stand up. You ever, don't, don't tell, if you ever smoke dope, stand up. If you ever drunk alcohol, jump up. If, if you ever... <laughs> I'm nervous for y'all that's sitting now. Because I think all of us have done something. <laughs>